morning. Good morning. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. Uh, Jen Jen, <laughs> I see you're on. Happy Mother's Day. <laughs> Happy Mother's Day, Cece. Hey. Happy Mother's Day. Brandon, good morning. Sherry, good morning. Can Willa, we, good morning. Paul, can we tell good Brandon morning. Happy Mother's Day? Or Brandon, is Happy that Mother's awkward? Day. Now, we were just discussing how awkward it is to greet men with, with Happy, Happy Mother's, Mother's, Mother's Day. Day. So. You, if someone does that to you, come up with a good prank, a good comeback. Yeah, so guys, start working on that. It's still <laughs> early here in Hawaii. You yeah. have a lot of chances for somebody to say Happy Mother's Day so far today. Raise the eyebrow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so start working on your comeback. But my Happy Mother's Day was for all the mothers out there. Yes. And a reminder to everybody who has a mother, who isn't a mother, to appreciate their mother. I called mine yesterday, just to be sure. Because oh, I'm so bad at the day of. You're ahead yes. of the game. I highly doubt she's watching, but... Just in case I'm wrong, happy Mother's Day, Mom. I guarantee you right. my mother is not watching, but I love you too, Mom. There you go. There you right, go. Right, well, welcome. If you guys just have to be tuning in because you're not sure what time church starts, I'm not Waxer. I'm She's... not Waxer. Okay, my name is Bruce, and this is... Jordan. Good morning, and we are here 15 minutes before each Sunday service to get warmed up, Mother's Day or not, to get you warmed up for church, to get you together with a body of Christ-like believers, because we want you to know church is not just something you watch and turn on and turn off. Church is your walk, and church is real people like you have here, and like you're going to meet in the chat room. You're yep. going to meet real people, so walk with us here at One Love, and good morning. Yes. Good morning, and thank you for being here. Like Bruce said, please jump into that chat. Whether you are with us on Facebook, mm -hmm. on our own live stream, or on YouTube, we can see what you type in any of those places, and we would love to interact with you this morning. So go ahead and get your fingers ready. Spelling is optional. You know, it's all right. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> we won't critique that. We just want, we well, just we want might, you to say hi. Okay, that's yeah, true. It that's is a live true. show. I'll probably, so. I'll probably catch you. <laughs> but Maybe. it's okay. Maybe. This morning, my icebreaker question okay. is going to be, because of Mother's Day. Okay, in I honor of. In honor of. Mm -hmm. I feel like there is this cliche or, I don't know, just understand tradition? cultural tradition. That's tradition. probably a good word for it. Yeah. That on Mother's Day, mom gets breakfast in bed. Right. I would like to debate this tradition. No. I am not a mother, okay? <laughs> okay. But logistically speaking, mm -hmm. I feel like breakfast in bed is a nightmare. Can actually go pretty wrong. It can. <laughs> and so what I want to know is, have you ever had breakfast in bed? Has somebody ever served you breakfast in bed? Have you ever done it for somebody? How did it go? What do you think? Are we basically thumbs up Should or we thumbs be doing down yeah. on breakfast in bed? Because I feel like I want to get out ahead of this, like before I ever have kids and be like, no, this is a bad idea. Don't set the example. Yeah, exactly. No. Exactly. Can we, can we stop? Breakfast in bed. Because I feel like you're going to spill something. And who's yeah. going to clean it up? <laughs> Mom. Mom. Exactly. <laughs> Happy Mother's Day. <laughs> Happy Mother's Day. Go wash the orange juice out of your sheets. I'm like, I, I don't think that sounds great. Jen Jen says, I've never, I never want breakfast in bed yet because I'd be the one cleaning it up. So I'm like, what? How about breakfast on the counter? On the counter, yes. yes. Yeah, no <laughs> breakfast in bed unless it's just toast. Yeah, or maybe. Well, but then you got crumbs all over I your know. bed. I know. What about like an applesauce packet, like a go-go squeeze? We just <laughs> suck know. it straight out like astronaut food. Like that's. I feel like that's the place you'd have to go to. Jen, your wife says I love breakfast and every meal all day in bed. Okay, <laughs> so Jen, it that's one at vote for. And you know, uh, honey, it. if you're watching. Uh, Asher did have the intention of making you breakfast <laughs> in bed, but he wouldn't wake up this morning. Breakfast so. means you gotta wake he up. He thought about yeah. it. <laughs> he thought about it. You, yeah. were, you were thought about. There you Sorry, go. Sorry, honey. Exactly. But breakfast in bed, I remember growing up, we did it a few times, and the bigger mess was the kitchen because you're trying to do it early when mom's not up, so it's just the kids making breakfast. So that was the train wreck, was all the kids trying to make breakfast and pretending to know how to make waffles. Ooh. In the kitchen. And then they pick something complicated like no. waffles. Yeah, it's like, it, just go with hard boiled eggs. Yeah. You know? uh, but then you try to make it the way you think you like it. So you put like chocolate chips in it and everything. Yeah, yeah. And mom's like going cross eyed from how sweet it is. But hey, moms, you do a good job of faking, like, yay. So good on you guys. <laughs> Breakfast in bed, good in concept, mm -hmm. uh, rough in reality. There you go. All right. Awesome. Thank you guys so much for <laughs> chiming in. Rose says she only had it when you were in the, she was in the hospital or sick at home. Yeah, that's kind of the kicker, is it kind of Kind of, mm -hmm. That also becomes associated with I can't get out of bed. Mm -hmm. um, thank you to I'm gonna mess up this name so oh, bad. Kony Situtone. I but good morning. Aloha, <laughs> and happy Mother's Day. We to you see too. you. I can't. 
We can't see you, but we see you. See, but we see you, and we're so glad that you're here. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> All right, if anybody else has any thoughts on breakfast in bed, yay or nay, is it a good idea or a great idea, mm -hmm. please chime in. We would love to know. But today we're going to be talking a bit more seriously mm -hmm. about mountaintop experiences. Out of the bed. We're mountain. out of the bed into the mountain. Okay. I know. No transition there. None at all. Just we're all right. switching <laughs> gears. Um, and I know mountaintop experiences is kind of a Christianese phrase. And so if you haven't kind of. been around a Christian, you might not have heard of this. But Bruce, I think mm -hmm. you know what I'm talking about. With the mountains and the valleys, we speak of yeah. in um, reference to our spiritual growth and like the times we go through in our mm -hmm. lives. Some are mountains, some are valleys. Yes, so, definitely. But that is biblical. That's yeah. kind of where we got it from. I mean, I mean you're, you're going to talk physical uh, examples a lot in the Bible of Moses going to the mountaintop and actually seeing the mm -hmm. promised land as, as his last journey. So there are actual physical examples you can take from mountaintops and valleys, mm -hmm. uh, uh, which, which are great. But if you even take your own physical experiences, when you've been to some whether it was a small little you know diamond head or big hikes in the mainland yeah. where you're seeing whole vast countrysides it's a beautiful thing and it really does something to us as humans to and what's the picture everyone does when they get get to the top of the mountain the, yeah. the picture is always <laughs> yeah, everybody right? automatically hands yeah, up, right? Yeah, and it's mm -hmm. awesome. But as a spiritual metaphor, we talk about those moments when something in your life uh, really brings you to that place of having that hands up experience with with God and that's what we would reference as a mountaintop experience where something opened your eyes for a lot yeah. of people it's when they're saved yeah. uh, God just revealed himself or his son to him and you gave your life to him and for a lot of people that's one of the early if not the highest mountaintop experience where you realized the God of the universe did create everything here he created you and he loves you and he wants you for himself that in itself can be a mountain mountain top experience valleys are sometimes the walk we we trudge through to get mm -hmm. to the next mountain top or whatnot and something to remember that we always say is you know we talk about valleys and though i walk through the valley of the shadow of death i you know, will fear no eve oh yeah sound familiar. it's a valley which means there is an exit which means there is okay. a plan. All right. So that's right, something right. that Waxer and some of the pastors I look up to always kind of reference is mm -hmm. when you get into a valley, it's not a hole. You're not at the bottom of a hole. It is a valley that you have to just keep walking through because there is another peak that God has for you. How high, how far away? I don't know. That's for him and you to know. But uh, there is a mountaintop waiting for you. And uh, it's exciting. Yes, that's so cool. Yeah. Thank you for explaining that. I appreciate it. And so what I want to know from you guys today is have you had a mountaintop experience mm -hmm. and what does that look like in your life so for some people a mountaintop experience is literally a mountain yeah exactly okay, shout out to haleakala oh, oh my goodness you gracious scored it. yes white uh i so, got it raining so i, I didn't really get to see really it so nice. i've been up there once raining okay. and then mm -hmm. i went back and actually i couldn't get in at sunrise so I went at night oh. and watching the star rise oh was my gosh. nuts. And okay. that was almost even better than what An I had. actual mountaintop experience, Haleakala. Literally, like, yes. you'd see that many stars and you're, you're just absolutely oh. awestruck. You're like, and God is real. God is definitely <laughs> real. Like that, that wasn't an explosion. Well, maybe it was, but a different kind of explosion. Yes, yes. yes. And then so it can be that or it can be the spiritual high. Mm -hmm. And so I think of that as... Um, in the situation of camps, Christian camps, I feel like this for a lot, a lot of people. Yes. So I was a I was a camp kid. I was a mm -hmm. camp counselor for a lot of years, <clears throat> um, but that was one of the biggest things that we would even look out for because, like you said, oh, there's okay. transitions between yeah. the mountaintop and then the valley. Mm -hmm. Like they they are because they coexist. Mm -hmm. right? It is a journey. Your life is a journey, and you have to walk with it. Yeah. And yeah, so many spiritual highs. These kids would get saved at camp. Mm -hmm. They'd be on this mountaintop experience. They had this amazing week, mm -hmm. right? And they're like all gung ho for Jesus. Mm -hmm. But like the minute you get back uh, home, you start throwing those starts. clothes in the, the the washer, and you go kind of go back to regular mm -hmm. life. It's not even so much, but yeah, you start coming down off the mountain. Mm -hmm. And then being there to walk with them and mm -hmm. say, it's okay, all of Christian faith is not always a mountaintop. Yeah. Because that's all you know up until that point. Yeah. You're like, why don't I still feel amazing? <laughs> you have to walk that through with them about that it's not always going to be that way, but it doesn't change what you've experienced or what you know as truth. 
Yes, exactly. Yeah. So what I want to know from you guys is, have you had a mountaintop experience of any of these kind, mm -hmm. and what was that like? So go yeah. ahead and let me know in the chat Type it in there. there. I can give you my short version, and uh, it's it's no big secret. Um, I share it with our Next Step group. Uh, we like to use the quote, uh, when did God become real to you? Mm -hmm. uh, for a lot of us, that is an experience when you realize there's, oh, there. when you learn that there is a God, that's kind of in the book, but then there's when God became real. Yeah. And for a lot of us, and for me, my um, my experience there of learning when God was real was when I was at Diamond Head, so a much smaller mountain than, <laughs> and I, I was at the lookout. Still a good mountain. Yeah, I, I was at the lookout, I wasn't even on the top. <laughs> um, but that was, I was, without getting into the whole backstory, I was whining over something, which I shouldn't have, but I was whining, you know, we whine. As we're valley. to do, valley. as a valley, yeah, valley. Yep. And, begging for an answer why 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 and god spoke to me uh he basically basically said uh not now audible first time i've heard an audible voice and that was my when god became real i lost it and i i just lost it because for me it was the god of the universe that created all this and all mm -hmm. this going on whether it's you know people sun moon skies stopped what he was doing to talk to me and uh, granted he told me no but the fact that he stopped to talk to me was my mountaintop and uh, I still like to uh, remind myself about that and share it with people to, to this day uh, that that is when God became real to me mm -hmm. and my mountaintop experience that's yeah. crazy so share with us what is yours you give it a short version maybe just you know chat in there mm -hmm. uh, the day or something that um, you want to share with us but it's great to bring that out and uh, encourage other people with that yes absolutely thank you so much um, I'm going to loop back really quick. Good morning, Ken. We're so glad that you're yeah, with Ken. us. Really quickly, back to my very important um, <laughs> breakfast in bed question, yay or nay. Uh, Jacqueline says, I love breakfast in bed, but with kids, it's not as much fun. And then the cringy face. Oh, uh, yeah, exactly. And then It used to be fun. Mm -hmm. Now that's so. Troy right. says, I had breakfast in bed like Rose when I was in the hospital as well. Yep, there you go. Kind of takes the fun. Of, not what was I thinking, Soup. but that's a different side to that. Okay, and then back to mountaintop experiences. Um, <clears throat> Jen says, one of my peak moments is when I was leading worship, looked into the crowd, and s saw her son worshiping. There you go. Oh, you can't even sing after that. I know, you're just straight, <laughs> Off straight <the> tears, right? <laughs> right? And then Charlie very glibly says... The valley analogy is deep, figuratively and literally. Gotcha. Thanks, Charlie. You funny. You funny. <laughs> Thanks for backing me up there. <laughs> good morning, Janelle, and good morning, Giselle. We are so glad that you're here. And Ken yeah, is guys. joining us good from morning. Germany. Good morning from Germany. Um, good evening. Good evening. Good morning. Well, it's good morning here, so you're getting a good you're morning. You're getting a good morning. I don't do math in the morning, so <laughs> that's what you get. Um, but that's that's so good. But if you have a mountaintop experience, or maybe you just, mm -hmm. you've heard of them or something mm -hmm. like that, let me know. Have you ever even heard of a mountaintop experience yeah. maybe that's something you haven't really mm -hmm. encountered yet mm -hmm. i don't know yeah. or don't yeah know. If, if you're a new christian maybe you're still working your way there figuring mm -hmm. out is god real why not hey that's fine do the hike hey there's another <laughs> analogy there's there's work your like way nature. to the mountaintop yeah work your way there don't be afraid of because you haven't had that experience yet uh everyone has it at different times oh just to share my example so my example i had already been saved for almost around 10 years oh wow so okay. i was walking the walk i believed in christ and uh was pretty steadfast but my mountaintop experience came much later so okay. young believers uh just keep believing in what in what you believe uh god is real and experiences they come and go but they do. believe in the truth i think that's another uh, another good way to put it is like there's multiple mountains mm -hmm. and multiple valleys yeah. and so just because you had one experience or one really great mm -hmm. moment where God was super clear to you or his voice was super clear mm -hmm. or just being in touch with nature made his presence very palpable. Mm -hmm. um, just because you've had one doesn't mean you won't have another. Yeah. And just because you haven't had one doesn't mean you won't have one. Exactly. And so, yeah, just something to think about and look <laughs> for in your walk or maybe reflect on those times in your life when you've had a mountaintop experience. He's going to surprise you and it'll, it'll be awesome. Yes. But good morning, John. Good morning, Roger. We are so glad that everybody joined us this morning. Thank you so much for joining us for the pre-celebration connection. Mm -hmm. I'm Jordan. I'm Bruce. 
<laughs> but this is One Love. We're a non-denominational church. We study the Bible line yes, by sir. line. And Bruce and I, I are here every Sunday, 15 minutes before each Sunday celebration to chat with you. So thank you so much to everybody who jumped in the chat. We're so grateful that you are here. So get your Bibles out. We are still in the book of Mark. Wax is ready. I think Matt is ready. We're going to do some worship <laughs> together. So enjoy your morning, guys. We're glad you joined us. And we will see you next week. Same time. Aloha.